I've got a real problem on this tandem kayak when I'm using it in the single seat mode. Where do I put my stuff in back of the seat? How do I get my milk crate in here? Well, I've got the solution. Stay tuned. If you've got a tandem kayak and you use it in single seat mode, you've probably got this problem as well. You've got the built-in seat that is intended for the person sitting in the back, but you've got the aftermarket seat that you've installed here so you can use it in single seat mode. But how do you get your, your milk crate in here? If it's just sitting on top of this other seat, it's not level and it's likely to fall off. Well, I've got the solution. We're gonna make a frame that's gonna elevate this and secure it to the kayak. Let's go into the shop and I'll show you how to make it. To make this thing, you need a, a handful of PVC components. You're gonna need four caps and I'm using half inch. You're obviously gonna need some PVC pipe. You're gonna need some connectors. You're gonna need some T-bolts and given that uh, toilet bolts can get expensive when you're getting a bunch of them. You're going to need four of them here. I just recommend you go buy a bag of quarter inch 20 T bolts. And if you don't want to make the uh, gear track adapter that's locked down with epoxy, you're going to need a tap to be able to run a hole through the bottom of each of these caps and then just merely screw the T bolt into. And that's what I've done here. So the construction of this thing is simple, and I still have to make all the measurements, but you're going to get a T-bolt, a cap, a connector, a short section of PVC, PVC to span the distance across your kayak, and either one or two of these T-connectors in the middle to make a frame for the milk crate. I'm going to get all the measurements done, and we'll see how this goes. I just measured that I want it to be 24 across and I want to have two T connectors in to create a frame going back. <laughs> Side comment, this is a great opportunity to use up random pieces of PVC that you might have. So I will go ahead and measure these. Looks like that's going to fit perfect. And I'll cut a piece over here. Then I've got to measure the back because the back is a different width than the front. But I want to make sure that the T connectors go in at the right place. One comment when you're assembling this stuff is once you stick it in, you know, it might be cockeyed like that, put it down on the table and then push it. And then it's all gonna line up just fine. I made some rough measurements, but you're never really gonna get this in there correctly until you actually put it on the unit and then see how it's going to go. And I can see here that I've got far too much PVC. I don't need this to be as high off the seat. So I think I'm going to cut this basically right here and just give enough room for the elbow. I think that's going to do the trick. Yep, the dry fit looks just fine. Now I'll go ahead and measure this distance. I know I've got a 13 and a half inch milk crate and that'll tell me what width I need to do down here. Here's the assembled frame. It's basically just dry fitted together and I recommend that you do not glue any of these pieces because then given the angle of the kayak, you'll never be able to get it off without cutting it off. And in my case, I want to be able to use this tandem, so I need to be able to pull this thing apart and slide it off. But this is going to work just fine. That's nice and stable. And now I can bungee my milk crate to this. I used a couple bungees to attach to the cross pieces, and that's in there pretty good. That's not going to move anywhere. If I really wanted to lock it down, I could run bungees between the long pieces as well. Now, it sits perfectly behind my seat when I'm in the single seat mode. Looks like a perfect fit to me. 
right in back. I can reach in there, put it in. If I decide that this is too close, it's just a matter of cutting these cross pieces and I can move it back or forward if I needed to. Well, the next step is to actually build out the crate. I like this. 